Today, we're diving into a small corner of the world that's making some big waves, Cape Verde. Now, if you've only ever thought of this beautiful island nation as a dreamy vacation spot with stunning beaches and crystal clear waters, think again. Because right now, Cape Verde is busy building more than just sandcastles, they're constructing the future. In 2024, Cape Verde isn't just sunbathing, it's on the move with mega infrastructure projects that are reshaping its horizons. Picture this, brand new airports welcoming more tourists, cutting-edge solar farms making the islands greener than ever, and sparkling marinas that'll make yacht lovers swoon. Yep, we're talking about a full-on transformation. In this video, we're going to explore several most exciting, ongoing infrastructure projects happening across Cape Verde in 2024. So, buckle up and let's dive into the action. 6. Praia International Airport Expansion First on our list is the Praia International Airport Expansion on Santiago Island, the country's largest and busiest airport. This $120 million project, managed by French operator Vinci Airports, is set to double the airport's passenger capacity by 2025. Notably, this project is important because Cape Verde is fast becoming a top tourist destination, and the airport's current capacity just isn't enough to keep up with the growing demand. Once completed, the expansion will allow the airport to handle over 2 million passengers annually, compared to just 1 million today. This upgrade will include larger terminals, more check-in counters, improved baggage handling, and better services for travelers. Therefore his goal is to make Praia a central hub for air travel in West Africa, attracting tourists from Europe, the Americas, and beyond. This is about way more than just convenience. With more visitors comes more revenue. Experts project that tourism could increase by 30% within five years of the expansion's completion. That means more jobs for locals, more investment in local businesses, and more opportunities for growth across the board. 5. Mindelo Cruise Port Upgrade Next up, the Mindelo Cruise Port Upgrade. Located on São Vicente Island, this $80 million project is designed to turn Mindelo into a major cruise destination. Right now, the port can handle a modest number of cruise ships, but the upgrades will allow larger, modern vessels to dock, meaning more tourists and bigger economic benefits. By 2026, the port will be able to accommodate up to 100,000 cruise passengers annually, a significant jump from its current capacity. The upgrades will include longer berths, modern facilities, and better services for cruise liners, making it a go-to stop for cruises from Europe, Africa, and even the Americas. With the increase in cruise traffic, Cape Verde is looking at a huge boost in tourism. Experts estimate that tourism revenue in São Vicente could rise by over 50%, creating more jobs and bringing millions of dollars into the local economy. This isn't just about sprucing up the port, it's about building a gateway for future economic growth. 4. Santo Anteo Regional Road Network This $60 million project is all about making one of Cape Verde's most mountainous islands more accessible. With rugged terrain that makes travel difficult, the new road network will open up isolated areas, connecting towns and villages like never before. Set for completion in 2025, the project includes over 100 kilometers of newly paved roads, tunnels, and bridges, transforming travel across the island. For locals, this means better access to essential services like healthcare and education. For tourists, it's about easier access to the island's breathtaking hiking trails and natural beauty. This network is a game-changer for Santo Anteo. By cutting travel times and improving safety, it's expected to boost both local agriculture and tourism. Experts predict a 20% increase in tourism within the first two years after completion, which will inject much-needed revenue into local businesses. 3. Cabo Verde National Water Desalination Program In a country where water scarcity is a constant challenge, the Cabo Verde National Water Desalination Program is a lifeline. This $150 million project, funded by the World Bank and the EU, 
aims to secure Cape Verde's water future by installing desalination plants across the islands. By 2026, new desalination plants will be up and running, producing clean, drinkable water for over 80% of Cape Verde's population. This program is essential for both the growing population and the booming tourism sector, which places extra demand on water resources. Access to clean water will improve public health, support agriculture, and help industries thrive. The government expects to see a 15% increase in agricultural productivity due to the new water supply, reducing the country's dependence on imported goods and improving food security. 2. Sal Island Solar Park Next, we're headed to Sal Island, where the future is looking a lot greener, thanks to the new Sal Island Solar Park. This $70 million project aims to generate enough renewable energy to power most of the island. With over 20,000 solar panels, the park will generate 50 megawatts of electricity, significantly reducing the island's reliance on imported fossil fuels. By 2025, it's expected that the solar park will provide over 60% of the island's total energy needs, making it a model for sustainable development across West Africa. The project will cut Cape Verde's carbon emissions by 20%, and it's already attracting attention from international investors. In fact, several neighboring countries are looking to replicate this solar initiative. This isn't just about energy, it's about setting a green standard for the entire region. 1. Palmera Port Expansion Finally, we have the Palmera Port Expansion on Sal Island, a project that's set to turn this small port into a major shipping hub. With a budget of $90 million, this expansion is all about boosting trade and making Cape Verde more competitive on the global stage. The project will add larger berths, new cargo terminals, and modern logistics facilities, allowing the port to handle larger container ships and process more goods. This will position Sal Island as a key player in regional and international trade routes. By improving its trade infrastructure, Cape Verde is setting itself up for long-term growth. Analysts predict that the expansion could increase Cape Verde's GDP by 2% annually, as more goods flow through its ports and more businesses set up shop on the islands. So, there you have it, six mega-projects that are set to reshape Cape Verde's future. From airports to solar parks, from roads to ports, these projects aren't just improving infrastructure, they're laying the groundwork for a brighter, more prosperous future for Cape Verde. If you've enjoyed learning about Cape Verde's transformation, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates on the world's most exciting development projects.